All right, everybody. Uh, good evening. Um, quick update from what I tried to accomplish over the weekend. Um, I'm having a heck of a time trying to get a tack to work with this um, digital HP Pertronics box. Um, the only one that works is the autometer. A true autometer gauge works if you wire it up. Um, if you wire it up th this way, use the gray tack wire. And then you do have to use the red and black, which they call their. Um, so this is what this is how we're wiring the magnetic pickup for the DuraSpark. So we're using this plug here. Don't use the um, the white. And so here, here's your gray tack wire, and then this special use red and black. So the red and black I've got going to the positive side of the coil, so it's a, a switch 12 volt, um, and then the tack wire goes to the green, right? And then the, the, it's very simple, black is ground. This goes to a switch 12 volt. Um, on the fuse panel, I have a add a fuse there with a little, um, it's on with the, like on the radio circuit or something. And then this green one goes to the gray. And then the red and black is hooked to the coil positive or, or the switch 12 volt ignition, which is part of their wiring diagram up here um, and I just lost a spot right here so autometer works with that um, I tried the stock tack will not work this way even though I thought I got it working before but I remember it was erratic and didn't work very well um, I've got the MSD I've got a tack adapter 8920 couldn't get this to do anything wired up every way you could think of um, with the instructions here you know, I know this is not the right, but this says magnetic pickup, so I just tried every single way I could, and the only one that worked is the true autometer gauge. It's the factory tack I could not get to work, and um, I bought, I tried a uh, Equus uh, Monster Tack. They had it, uh, it said used like new on Amazon, and it didn't look like it was used by any means, you know, the, the, none of the wires were cut or anything like that. But again, that would turn on, it would go to wherever you set the shift light, you know, you turn it off and go back to zero. And then when you start the car, it didn't do anything. It went up to your shift point and just stuck there. That was it. And then, so I returned that. Um, and I tried that with the tack adapter every which way I could think of. So I returned that. And then I said, well, let me just get an autometer one, which I like this one. It works, but I don't want, uh, this I got just as a shift light when my, I wanted this because the shift light, but the thing is um, to set this at the track when this is up on top of your steering column and you can't see, you know, what the buttons are. This is the layout on this thing is is poor. The functioning of it is good and it's a very bright shift light. I mean, that thing lights up; you're not going to miss it. And I like that it was small, but it's not easy to set um, when when it's in the car. You know, you can't, you can't even see what these are. They're not even, these buttons, I mean, you can't, you can't tell what they are. They're just, they're just molded into the plastic. It's not, if they had the button somewhere else or somewhere where it was easy to program, I would use this. Um, but I, I don't like the, I don't like the digital tack for one, but it didn't bother me when I had the in-dash tack working. So that was fine in that sense. So I was just using this as a shift light, but the tack does work in this because uh, you know it's it's a real autometer product. It's not um, one of the off-brand things. Which doing my research about um, what tacks actually work with the MSD ignition, and you don't need require all this crap. It's just all the stuff that runs right off the tack output. Everybody said uh, autometer. So I returned that Equus one. Because it looked it looked like an autometer ripoff, so I figured I'd give it a shot, and sent that back, and I got one. It said autometer, um, and it was small. I want I didn't want a five inch tack if, if possible. I want one that's more the size of the stock tack. So they had the three and three and three quarter size, um, and it said autometer with the part number, whatever. So I ordered it, and it, it showed up, and it was auto gauge. It was their um, offshore product. Well, as soon as I unpackage it, I'm like, oh no, this is this isn't 
what it was advertised, but nonetheless, I'll try it. But I tried it without cutting any wires or anything like that. So anyway, I hooked that one up after work today and tried it with a tack adapter, tried it wired every single which way with these diagrams and this ignition box, and it just it did the same thing. It would just go to where, wherever you set the shift point, it would go, turn the key off, drop down to zero, start the car, and it would either sit there at zero or go to where the go to where the uh, shift point was and just and just sit there. So I re put in a return for that one and I ordered an actual autometer uh, sport comp. They got they do have the smaller one, a uh, three and three eighths with the shift light built into it. So I'm gonna try that one and then uh, hopefully that will work. Worst comes to worst, this still works and this still works as a as a shift light. So it's just programming this thing's a pain in the butt when you're you know in the car got your helmet on you can't see what these damn buttons are um, and it's up above your dash and it's tilted back so you can't even you know you can't even lean in there and you know they're not even labeled you know they're just molded in the plastic so I keep the directions in the car to know where the buttons are it's it's just too much fumbling around if you want to change a setting so although this does work so I ordered an autometer tack, and we're going to try that out. It should be here in two days, and we'll go from there. Otherwise, um, you know, I've just been, I've had the car fired up. Um, I did take it around the block on the weekend after I made a small uh, clutch cable adjustment, and the shifter, def, de, this clutch definitely feels lighter because it's a dual disc, lighter on your feet, and just taking it around the block, um, just going from one to two, just tapping the clutch, and it just falls right into second. So I'm hoping uh, we can get some good, um, solid shifts out of this thing and um, and pick up some ET. So that's the update, guys. Um, we're going to give a uh, we're going to get a real autometer tack, spend the money, and buy I guess buy it once and cry once. You know I'm I know the autometer works. You know and I just have to wire it up um, just like this. Just run that red and black to the coil for the. That's supposed to be the your um, a 12 volt switched, and then run the tack wire to the tack, and the, this this one worked just fine like that. Hooked all the other ones up the same exact way, and they didn't do anything. So I don't know what autometer does different, but um, it they're obviously easier to work with these ignition boxes. So I wouldn't even waste your time. Um, ordering and returning and trying to save a few bucks on some junky one that you're going to try to make work. So just I'm just going to go ahead and get the uh, autometer, and it's the uh, Sport Comp 2, but it's the small one, the three-inch one, and it does have the the shift light on it. So that should be here in two days. I'm I'm almost positive that I'm going to hook that up just the same way this one was, and it's going to work. That's everything I researched online is. The real autometer gauges don't really don't have any issue using this uh, the tack output from these ignition boxes. So I don't know why they can't put that in their other other products. Doesn't make sense to me. You know, if you want to sell this auto gauge by autometer, have it function the same, have it wire up the same, have it the ease of use be the same. Not have to buy all these adapters. I mean, for what you save on that auto gauge, offshore stuff, then you have to buy the adapter. You're at the same price as buying an autometer. You know, you save a hundred bucks on the auto gauge, but the adapter's a hundred bucks to make it work. And they're all in a uh, chintzy plastic housings and stuff. So might as well just step up to the, to the good one. But anyway, that's just my little rant because I've been messing with this tachometer for days. And, um, you know, this one works. I just want, I just want one with, I just want an analog one with a shift light. So that's the update guys. But, uh, yeah, the car's running good. Um, I'm hoping to make it to the track this weekend. And just drive it around the drive it around the corner a little bit. I don't know if I want to change out the uh, braking fluid just yet. I mean, I don't I don't think it's going to hurt it to make a couple passes with braking brake in oil. But nonetheless, um, yeah, I'm really really liking um, having this switched over to carb. It seems to you know two pumps on the pedal and it and it cranks right over. So even with the uh, locked out timing. All right, guys, that's my update. Um, I'll let you know when that tack gets here and we got it working, um, and we'll go from there. But that's kind of been my frustration. You can see all these different wires I've got out here trying trying to hook directly to the negative, trying to the white wire off of there versus the gray, trying to 
the positive side to the negative side. I mean, it's just trying every configuration I can with the adapter, without the adapter, and this is the only thing that works. So that is what it is. Just get an autometer, I guess. That's all I can say. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you have a great night. I'll get back at you when the TAC comes in and we have it working. Thank you.